Hello, in this video we're going to use R to calculate the method of moments and the maximum likelihood estimators for a beta binomial distribution. And this is the fourth video in a little mini-series. The first three videos are here where we calculate the mean, the variance, we derive the method of moments estimators, and we show how to calculate the maximum likelihood estimators. Now, in doing these videos I found this article that I really like and I'm going to highly recommend that you, you that you read it and it gives a real life example of using the beta binomial distribution and here they assess the performance of a biometric identification device where the probability of, of successfully identifying a person can change depending upon the person and the beta binomial distribution was great here is the uh, the link to that and again I'll post this uh, program in the comments so you can just copy and paste it if you want. We're going to follow up with an example from Wikipedia so if you go to the Wikipedia page on beta binomial distribution they give this example. They look at families that had 12 kids and then how many males were born in the families and this is the you know so the outcome is between 0 and 12 and here are the frequency of families that that they looked at. So three families had zero males of the 12 kids. 24 families had one male of their 12 kids, etc. Now I want to, from that I create an X vector you know, with all the data. There's 6,115 observations. Um, in it deals with the binomial since each fa you know each family has 12 kids and we're looking at the number of males born in those 12 kids so that's what that represents here the first moment the mean is 6.23 and actually all the numbers that we're going to provide here agree with the numbers on Wikipedia I'm just showing you how they calculated them so the second sample moment is 42 0.39094 and the method of moments estimator are here alpha is 34.135 beta the method of moments estimate for beta is 31.608 now let's plot these so BB is the beta binomial function it's the uh, probably mass function and we derive this in the video that I call the mean and the variance of a beta binomial so let's look at a plot here. So this is a, a histogram of you know our data. So remember there are three families that had zero males, there were 24 that had one male and then so forth. And then if we model this using the beta binomial distribution, that's this plotted line or the curve of, on top of it. So it's pretty close. Now the beta binomial distribution is is a, it's commonly called an over dispersed binomial distribution and so the tails can be fatter in the beta binomial than in just a binomial and we'll I'll show you a plot of that in a second so here are here's calculating the maximum likelihood estimates first of all we calculated the partial derivatives of that log, the log likelihood of a beta binomial and these are the functions in the video you know I kept saying digamma and trigamma and and the, here they are that's their built-in functions in R so in this step here we use the method of moments estimates for our, our initial guesses for the maximum likelihood and this is the Gauss or the newton rapson method right here here's the the loop that we use and again this is all derived and highlighted in video number three and here are it so that here's a comparison side by side so the first two are the alpha estimates so the method of moments is 34.13 the maximum likelihood estimate is 34.10 the method of moments for beta is 31.61 maximum likelihood estimate for the beta parameter is 31.58 so they're really close. Now if we take those 
and we, we put in the method of moments estimates in for the density and then we take the maximum likelihood estimates and put them in the density and then we just use the binomial distribution we then here are here's a table of the different values and I'll plot this and it'll make more sense but so this is column one but it really represents zero you know there were three families that had zero males of the 12 kids there's 24 families that had one male of the 12 kids and, and etc but if you look at the maximum the method moments and the maximum likelihood estimates for alpha and beta when they're plugged back into the probably mass function they generate estimates that are pretty close but if you look at the binomial distribution that you can tell in the tails it underestimates the, the what we observed and that's because you know the this I think is better fit with an over dispersed binomial distribution which is the beta binomial so let's look at these in a plot since it's you know easier to see now the red line is the binomial distribution and you can see that in the tails it's lower now the gap here doesn't seem to be that big but that's you know a frequency of you know maybe 50 difference this is pretty big it's probably a hundred or so difference anyway so that's it that's kind of a neat thing but on the web page they also calculate the maximized log likelihood so I thought I'd do that I'd show you how to do that in R and the, this value negative 12,492 is exactly what they have on the on the web page you know the Wikipedia page they also print out the log likelihood for the binomial distribution and it's negative 12,534 so it's bigger which means it's not quite as good a fit so then they also calculate the IC, the AIC values for these two uh, distributions and the AIC is 2 K in case the number of parameters being estimated minus two times the log likelihood and so when we calculate those the AIC for the beta binomial is 24,989 and the AIC for the binomial is 25,070 and so the AIC low values are better and so the beta binomial is a better fit than the binomial distribution all right well that's all I have for this video hopefully you enjoyed that I sure did please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thank you bye